Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk about a quick update that Midjourney made. I don't know if you saw uh, my previous video, which is uh, the full guide on Midjourney 2023. Well, um, in that video I said the aspect ratios weren't uh, yet available for Midjourney. So uh, I was wrong because no they are. Uh, not all of them, but still uh, they added some. So of course you can always go to Midjourney uh, to the official page. Well, you go to your account, then you go to help and FAQ. Uh, for the now, you can find here the user guide to get all the documentation you need. Just click on it. And uh, I went to parameters. So uh, when there is a new version, they will always update and add more information uh, as the software expands uh, its capacities. So here I went to the aspect ratios and uh, to my surprise, uh, the aspect ratios are now available in version four. Uh, not all of them, but still one, uh, one on two and 2.1. Um, in version three, I made uh, a few, uh, I tried a few out. Uh, to see what difference you can find in aspect ratios. So let's dig into that. So what will happen is the larger the, 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 larger the width, um, the more background it will add and the wider your items will be. Like uh, if you have a very narrow height and a large uh, canvas, uh, you're gonna have wider objects in general, like you can see in this picture uh, here. Uh, I'm trying to highlight it. So, in those, you can see it expands, uh, it tries to make, well, to cover the scene to like to, to take more space. Uh, however, when you use the inverted size, like the 1.2, which is more like a portrait, uh, I think this is best uh, for when you use it on people. Um, and uh, what it's gonna do in general is just like make stuff thinner and taller, you know. Uh, for instance, this teapot, well, it added a few um, levels to it. In version three, you had a lot of choice in your uh, in your aspect ratios. So no, uh, when you put uh, higher aspect ratios, they will automatically convert to lower ones. Uh, one thing to keep to bear in mind, excuse me, is that when you change an aspect ratio, for for instance, I I used a lot like sixteen nine. That's what you can see here, like sixteen nine. This is the this is this one. And uh, what it did in version three was, uh, you often had two items or two items that were um, related to one each other, like in the pictures you can see here below. All those ones and you just add stuff to cover the space um, but uh, no 16.9 becomes 7.4 something else to be to keep in mind is that if you use a portrait as a reference and you're gonna then uh, turn that into a landscape uh, well this will induce a lot of changes so I suggest that if you're going for a landscape you should use a uh, uh, well, a wider than higher than taller uh, canvas as a reference. For instance, uh, if you're gonna do portrait, well, then you will always also take uh, a taller than wider uh, image. So I made a few tries here. I'm gonna dig into it. Uh, so here is uh, I made version four, by the way. Um, here is the default aspect ratio, which is one one square. Uh, I just asked for parrot because that's what I made in my last video. So as you can see, uh, what it does is mainly focuses on the subject, uh, puts the head a little above the center. You you likely you will likely not uh, have a background uh, here. I'm impressed here it added one and the image is almost entirely full. Well, if you compare this picture to those ones, which are with an which is simply the same plant, but with an AR 2.1. So a different aspect ratio. So if I open this uh, in the browser, what you can see is it added a little more background. Well, it depends, but here it added a branch here also. 
And uh, as I said, it uh, it makes stuff wider, so it's gonna show more of the parrot uh, in its width, not in its height, because in most pictures um, the the upper part of the head is missing, and uh, same for the tail. Uh, in this one, we had a tail here, but yeah, same thing. And no. If you compare with the last one, which is here, uh, which by the way is the 1.2 aspect ratio, which is more like portraits, uh, what it does is now show a lot more of the tail. Uh, you almost have the entire subject here, which is quite interesting. Uh, if you're focusing on only one object and not putting it it's in a scene. So uh, I think that's quite interesting. Like here you can see the claws, you can see almost uh, the entire uh, tail. Of course, you can ask uh, parrot entire body, parrot uh, show tail, uh, parrot uh, shot from right angle, uh, ultra wide angle, uh, you know, just keep the subjects in the distance. And uh, if you ask it that way, you will also get uh, with a result showing the tail. But I think it's quite interesting. Um, to know that those aspect ratios are now available and that you can use them uh, when editing. So as you can see here, the parrot here is, and this one also are, I think, thinner than those ones which have a lot more um, feather. And uh, I think it's very interesting. Uh, they look more realistic also, but uh, yeah. So depending on the image you're going for, like you have to try those different aspect ratios because they're very interesting. Uh, like a month ago, we were stuck in version four with square aspect ratio, but now you can play around with those new ones. So keep in mind, uh, what you have to remind of this video is that if you take wider canvases and uh, wider aspect ratios, excuse me, uh, that's best suitable for background of, or if you want to make an object wider, like for instance, is a boat if, is a, if a boat is too thin, maybe you want to try out the remix mode and add an aspect ratio to make it wider. Um, whereas uh, the portrait uh, settings, like the 1.2 aspect ratio, will be more suitable for portraits, uh, for standing people, standing up people, uh, make stuff thinner, uh, taller, maybe put them back a little, keep a little, make a little distance with uh, the camera. And uh, yeah, that's what you have to bear in mind. I hope this was helpful and uh, I will try to make a video every week from now on because I'm so glad that the channel just exploded. I cannot explode it, but uh, I didn't thought, uh, I didn't think uh, we will reach uh, like almost 100 subscribers in uh, less than a month, which is great. Thank you for your support and uh, hopefully see you soon in uh, another video.